Happy Friday, crafty friends. I'm on today with a guest designer um, showing for some paper created by Sandy at Decorate Your Life. Sandy does amazing, um, she has a website, but she makes uh, journals and traveler's notebooks and and um, she makes her own paper like her and you can get them in digital form or in you know real paper form and she's just the sweetest person ever and she asked me if I would like to create with some of her paper and I said ah uh, yeah absolutely and it is so pretty and I would show you every piece except for I have cut it but I can show you the pieces and I printed it in three different sizes. These are the pieces that are left. So you can kind of get a little idea. Um, I printed on eight by 10, I printed on four by six. So, uh-oh, I dropped that piece. Look how little those are. So look how cute this paper is. And it could go winter or Christmas. So many, you could go so many ways with this. So, um, let's see, I think that might be, no wait, there's a snowman and the little chocolate rainbows, what, hot cocoa, um, let's see, the little gumdrop trees, so as you can see, I got, I went crazy, but I used a whole bunch of this paper, so we're gonna, we're just gonna go and tell you about it, all right. So this one, I actually cut the little snowman out in this um, fancy die, and I cut a wonky shaped square rectangle to go behind it that is the, the cream color in his hat. And um, these are the snowflakes, you know, that I made that are the cutting emboss that I just got, I think I was showing you, and I rubbed iridescent over the top of them. And then I had this uh, Coco and Reno rainbow and I was like I can make one of those rainbows that look like you know that that coordinate with her set so I was so tickled with that and so there's my first card and then this is a tag and I used my cathedral window tag and I used the little gnome with the lantern and it has acetate that has snow falling on it although you can't really see it that well. You might be able to at an angle, I'm not sure. But then I used the same binding and the iridescent trim, and I used one of these beautiful crystal looking snowflakes. I used some of this trim from Hobby Lobby that I thought looked like snowballs. And then I made some of the holly in the same color family as this holly, and used little rhinestones to pick up the blue color. So those are the first two. You put them over here and then I made these two now this little moose right here her her images are just precious and y'all know I do love a most remember Maynard from last year so this collection is called winter friends I'm not sure if I said that I think maybe I did anyway all right so I wanted him to be the focus and and this is um, her back. This is a, a piece of her paper that's the background that I printed small so it would be more proportionate to him. Then I cut out a full um, mitten, and I made the cuff another uh, selection of the paper, and I made a little frame to go around him out of this brown uh, glitter, but it's not the kind of glitter, you know, it's smooth. And so, and then I put I had to put a little holly leaf right there on his hat and put some up here on the gloves and I this is my new um, bubble frame and then I put little black accents around and so I love him okay now this one so Nikki came in and said um, this didn't come for your birthday but here and it's a set of three dies and it had this tree in it and I was like what <laughs> so you know I had to use it because there's that tree and then I just cut these. So I, I used my um, jagged edged arch and I cut it out of this. And this, you can use so many colors of blue and green with this paper and it and it just brings it to life. I, it, it's like a chameleon kind of, you know, cause you see here it is with blue, here it is with green. Um, 
So anyway, it's amazing. But anyway, I cut this out and then I used um, brown stickles and I went inside to make the little chocolate drops on there just like she had. And then I just hand cut this out and put it on there and I used gold um, Nuvo drops to make the dots. Put a little snowflake on there. I made my holly silver with brown centers. And there's that one. Now, I, you know, of course I had to make a shaker. And these little birds with the glasses. Oh my goodness. So, this is obviously a snow globe shaker. And I wanted to... I like the blue in this one, so that's what I made the holly, and I put a little star in the center and kind of highlighted the outside edges with just a touch of blue and used these snowflakes again. And you can tell on this that this has some snowflakes on it. There's one right there. But anyway, I put the stars and the snowflakes and the tiny little aqua-like beads in there. And I just love it. Look at those birds. Like, see, that one's got a star, a wand, a star wand. So there's a little shaker. And then, you know, I had to make an adult rattle. <laughs> so this is one of those boxes like I've used before. And this mouse, he has my heart, I'll tell you. He has my heart. And I actually put a pom-pom on the end of his hat, although you can't see it for this. So this is, it's similar to one of her back, one, one of these on another page and hmm, anyway it's beautiful and it has pine cones and it has silver um, holly leaves and brown berries and then the black twigs with the snow and then some little leaves sticking out and it has some other little berries and so I had all those dyes in my in my stash and um and so my frame, I used a scallop frame because it's the closest thing that I have to cut it inside and outside to fit over the frame of this. And then I used these, this trim from Hobby Lobby because I just feel like it looks like snowballs, you know, and I love it. And so look what happens when you shake him. It's snowing. And there's little snowflakes in there and little chunks of snow and sparklies. I love him. Adult rattle. You know, gotta love them. <laughs> okay, so, and then this is my last project. So this is a tag flip, and I wanted to focus on her paper and the images because I just think they're beautiful. So I have this die that's a, um, it's a nested die actually, and it has several sizes of these wonky cut tags. And so, I went through the paper and I found the images that I wanted to to um, highlight in here and I started cutting and then I distressed around the edges with um, let's see, tumbled glass and you know just rubbed it on there with my foam um, applicator and then I dug out every winter snowy kind of phrase I could find and die cut them all out of black glitter because I wanted it to highlight the black in here and that's you know black always shows up better than anything else but it also because there's black in the paper I think it really accents it well so here's this one and it's a little gnomey holding the little bird and it says cold hands warm heart and I got a little icicle glued right there. And then this one is these fantastic little birds and the snowman. And I put the tiny little pom-poms for all their hats. And then I put friends because, you know, that's what they look like to me. is a bunch of friends out in the snow. Okay. And then this one, this little gnome is skiing down the hill. And there's my moosey going, uh-oh, here it comes. So... I said, let it snow, and I used some of these snowflakes. Here's two Nomi's in a present. Winter Wishes. He's got his little hot cocoa, and, and I got two more snowflakes there. And then, my paper keeps coming apart. Okay, so there's a cup with, with goodies in there. And so, I had a, a die cup, 
So I cut that out, and then I used puff paint for the um, whipped cream, and I used these little clay spirals and some um, brown stickles for the little chocolate in there. And that one says, have a cup of cheer. That look yummy. Okay, and so this one, all I did was put sweet, 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 and put a little bit of the brown stickles around because I, I just think that's a dreamy page, you know? It, it's just dreamy to me. So anyway, there's that one. Okay, and then we got our little gnomies, Mr. and Mrs. Gnome in their sweaters, and this says sweater weather. And I just put one little snowflake on there. And then this was a background piece, and it says, Hello, Winter, and it's got three little snowflakes on it. And then the back page, he's got his little cup of cocoa, and it says, Hot Chocolate Weather. And then I put a black um, ring on it, and I used the seam binding, the black seam binding, and this blue, some of this. Uh -oh, I'm going to have to put a piece of glue right there. Those are coming apart. Um, little snowball trim and um, the iridescent eyelash. So, so y'all, like I said, check out um, Sandy's. She has a YouTube channel and a store. It's called Decorate Your Life. She has just the most beautiful. I told her on one comment, I said, Prima's got nothing on you, girl, because it's just beautiful. And um, let's see if I can get all this on here. Um, so, she kindly, so amazingly told me that um, I could have a giveaway and you could win this collection, this digital collection. So, um, like and subscribe, you know, tell me what you think, go visit her, and in a few days, I will pick a lucky winner, and you'll have to include your email to me once I let you know you win, and I'll send it to her, and then she'll send you the, the free download. Isn't that awesome? That's so sweet, I think. Okay, so anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. I sure enjoyed using this paper collection, and, um... And, and I hope you go check her out because I know you won't be sorry. She's she's a um, she's so talented, but she's also an amazing human being and so kind and sweet and godly and um, yeah, we need we need more more people like that in our world, don't we? Okay, so winter friends, decorate your life. I'll link everything below. Love you guys. Blessings.